Hey, guess what? We're giving away 100 bucks every other week on this channel. If you want to be a part of the movement, then like, comment, and subscribe below. No, I'm cool. Let me hear what's up with that Instacart stuff. Though. Instacart shoppers, ship shoppers, DoorDash shoppers, or whatever it is you guys are calling yourselves these days. Today, we're starting completely from the beginning. Instacart shopper training for 2021. The Instacart shopper app is booming, it's growing, and everybody seems to be asking me questions that are, you know, just... To be quite honest, things that should be answered by now. But I guess I haven't done a video on it and I don't really see one that's well laid out anywhere else. So here we go. Instacart shopper training for 2021. Right here we have the home screen, the dashboard screen. Uh, that's what you're going to see in the beginning when you open up the Instacart shopper app. Thanks to all my subscribers for everyone who has liked and commented along the way. This community is starting to grow. I really appreciate the love and the support. Let's keep it moving. Uh, so on the home screen, the dashboard screen is Instacart likes to call it. You will find the batches where you can go into and it'll show you the currently available batches in your area. Right now we're in Indianapolis. And uh, this is what is available, nothing too great. But, you know, you have to put forth a little bit of patience when you're rating, when you're waiting for Instacart batches. You don't want to just swipe at the first thing that pops up. First off, Instacart is going to try and get what they can out of you. And you need to make sure you're working as efficiently as possible. So back to the dashboard screen. Um, you got FAQs, frequently asked questions. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. It's really just going to break down the basics about earnings and things of that nature, which usually is the only question I would assume Instacart Care gets. If you need to reach out to Instacart Customer Care, you t take a look at the, uh, just tab on the, sorry, it's been a long day. Tab on the headphone emblem in the corner and then it will take you to this screen right here where we are waiting we're fourth in line normally the line isn't bad unless it's like the holiday season christmas time when things are just crazy and money's everywhere questions are everywhere new shoppers are everywhere hopefully this tutorial will keep you out of line because sometimes you do have to wait quite a while but if you need to reach out they're there they can help you sometimes Hopefully this video will make it so you don't have to reach out because there are a lot of questions that they can't answer. Now, if you're getting contact, that's what it will look like. They will start asking you questions. We're going to end it. We're not going to go too deep into that. I'll do other tutorials if you need me to. Just comment below and let me know. Um, order your health and safety kit. I've done that already. They give out Germex or, you know, hand sanitizer. It's actually pretty convenient. I use it quite often. Um, other than that, on the dashboard, you're not going to find a whole lot, but it is just the basics when you get to the Instacart shopper app. So my favorite thing about Instacart so far is just the freedom that it gives me. I can shop when I want to, where I want to, and make money how often I want to, however often I need to sometimes. Uh, Instacart is pretty great. Yes, you can do it full time. People ask me that. Thanks for asking. They ask me that all the time. Uh, so let me answer it here. Yeah, you can do it full time. You have to be dedicated. You're your own boss at this point. You have a 1099, so you have to be dedicated. All right. Uh, sorry. Let's take a look at the best time to shop. I do like to go into that sometimes if I'm in a new area or I don't know, like, the surrounding areas or i just want to you know venture off somewhere new i take a look and just see what instacart shoppers are saying is busy uh sorry what the uh instacart shopper app is telling me is busy what the analytics are telling me so if we take a look at that we'll see the days of the week that the shopper app is telling us are great for shopping so i'm sorry if this is a little dry if you're an experienced shopper then you may not need this video but if you're a complete beginner this is the tutorial for you so 
days of the week that are supposed to be busy, Friday, of course, is going to be the busiest day of the week, no matter where you are. If they're getting paid, that's the day that customers are going to majority shop on Friday. Some of them on Saturday is usually a pretty good day and Sunday due to the fact that most shoppers seem to take off on Sunday, which I understand. I usually take off Sunday myself, but I can always depend on Sunday being a pretty good day for shoppers. If you want to change your zone, that's how you do that. It's not too complicated, but if you go to a new area, the app will update itself and show that you're in a new zone and help you get batches in that zone. So let's go back to the dashboard. Um, other than the notifications, that's about the last thing I'll need to show you here. We do get notifications from Instacart often about batches that are good or not good that they want to get done. So if you get a notification and you want to turn them off, if it's green, that means notifications are off. If it's gray, that means notifications are being sent to you. Let's take a look at my earnings. So currently for this week, um, I'm doing pretty good. I haven't worked a whole lot, not too much more than usual, and it's been pretty good so far. I can't complain. Transaction recently was 550. That's what I deposited into my account from this week's earnings. It's Thursday. It hasn't even hit the you know peak of the week yet. 720 for this current week is what I've made total. Here we have our past earnings. Tells you the date within seven day increments as what you've made. It goes from uh, Sunday being the end of the week and Monday being the beginning of each week. Normally, my quota is 250 per day. A total of 1200 per week is usually my minimum. Unless I have other things going on, then I go for a thousand at the very least. Some weeks are worse if my rating is pretty low or I just have a lot going on. Some weeks are better. 1500, I believe, is my best week yet. Take a look through the video and you can find that. Uh, if you are confused about promotions, I am going to do a video pertaining to that because promotions are kind of a whole thing in and of themselves. And this is a complete beginner guide to the Instacart Shopper app. Now, pending tips. That's going to show you your pending tips currently. So if you've been doing shopping recently, you will see your pending tips there. What I just showed you before that um, was the cash out screen. As I said earlier, I've cashed out already this week, so I'm going to wait a little bit longer. I like to wait and cash out no more than twice a week. That way I avoid transaction fees. Here we're at the rating screen. I'm at a 4.94. Yes, it is still possible to get good batches at a 4.94 as long as recently you have been doing pretty good before that. I have... 46 five-star ratings and three four-star ratings one one-star rating that has been taken off by instacart they take off your lowest rating for the last 100 orders orders are different than batches you have orders which can be multiple within a batch you have one batch that can contain more than one customer each customer is one order each batch can contain more than one customer. I prefer to do one customer only batches, but I have done batches with more than one customer because sometimes the pay and the distance and the metrics total, which we'll get into that, is just something that works out too well for me. So I take it. But if you can avoid it, don't do multiple batches because it just increases your chances of making a mistake, slowing your overall speed rating down and it's eventually gonna cause you to have a low rating as i have now that's probably my issue i've been doing too many double batch orders so ratings are pretty self-explanatory if you guys have any questions about that go ahead and comment below and i can see about doing a video on the subject matter that you want assistance in all these tabs here, communication, replacing items, finding items, and quality of items are very important. They are the
tabs or the questions that Instacart customers get after they receive their Instacart delivery. So, right here, this tab, you will see communications, shopper suggestions on how to have better communications. So far, I'm doing pretty well with communication. That's honestly something I pride myself in. I used to shop, or not shop retail. Of course, everybody shops retail. I used to do retail for my uh, main work. My full-time job was a retail worker. Management after a while, but it's all the same. Make sure the customer's happy. Ask questions for what they want. If you need to replace anything, if they're not answering, then you refund it. Simple as that. Uh, let's keep it moving. I told you guys we're keeping this pretty simple, a complete beginner guide and breakdown to the actual shopper app themselves. I haven't been able to find this anywhere else, so I figured I'd make it myself. Let's see. Uh, shopper suggestions about replacing items. Have you been doing a good job of replacing items is pretty much the question they're asking the customer. That means, have you been doing a good job of replacing? Maybe I'll replace like a brand. And normally, if the customer is communicating, I will just send them a picture. That eliminates all issues and problems that you're going to have with the customer saying that you didn't replace with something that made sense to them. Send a picture. Ask them questions. If they want a replacement, give it to them. If they're not communicating, don't make a replacement. Let's keep it moving. So quality of items is very, very important because this is where most customers are going to ding you. This is where they're going to get upset or be made very happy. So damaged items, I've got a few on my list. Any more than three or four in Instacart is going to start taking a closer look at you. You might be at risk of deactivation. So do your best to keep it as low as possible damaged items that can be anything as simple as a damaged package old dating dating that's too close spoiled meat or meat that they don't like the look of it whatever you want to get it as though you're shopping for your grandma shopping for yourself heck you want it to be the best produce you could possibly find take a look at it make sure it's not bruised that's a pro tip for you let's keep it moving all right, so that pretty much sums up customer feedback for the Instacart Shopper app in the year 2021. If you guys have any other questions, let me know. If you're taking a look at the Shopper Summary, mine's at a 9% for the cancellation rate. The cancellation rate is how Instacart decides your risk of canceling the order that they're going to give you. That's whether you're in the store shopping it or before you get there. If you're going to cancel it, I would suggest you do it as soon as possible. Don't wait while the customer is waiting and now the app has to push their time back and someone comes behind you, finishes the app, and now they get a bad rating because you canceled after eating lunch and getting fat and lazy. Sorry. <laughs> Sometimes it happens. I'm not going to lie. I've done it myself and I just feel kind of bad afterwards because I know someone's going to take that batch and then the customer is going to be upset already and it's not their fault. So try to avoid that if you can. There's your speed rating. Mine's at a 65. If yours is not at that number, don't feel bad. I've had times when mine's got up to 90 or 100. It's in flux. It changes just like the stock market. All right. So uh, here we're looking at the inbox where you will get updates on things that Instacart wants, Instacart headquarters, Instacart corporate wants you to know. Things like Stride, uh, other apps that you can use to your benefit for taxes and other things as a 1099 worker and an Instacart contract employee. Now, we're going to take another look at the batch system and just a quick glance at what's going on in the area nothing too great but as i said you have to supply you have to apply patience because if you take a 25 dollar batch because you wanted to get something quick and you were tired of waiting that can make the difference of your day because if you wait and you're patient enough and you get an 80 80 90 
$120 batch. I've had them before. That's going to set your day up. So now you can be a little quick and hasty with it and take some of those smaller batches. But you want to get at least one big batch every day. That's going to set you up for success and make sure you're reaching your quota. Instacart is not a difficult job. It's not as stressful as some people make it. Communicate with the customer. Communicate with Facebook groups. Communicate in our community. And you'll find that it's a very lucrative job for you. Earlier, I was taking a look at the uh, Meyer batch that I did. And I got an extra $40 tip on top of the $40 batch itself. So that put me in a pretty good number for today that made that an $80 batch set me up well these are the kind of things you're gonna have to think about when you're setting your day up and you're trying to make a certain amount for the week it's all a numbers game you stay on top of it instacart will make you a happy person if not then you'll be wondering where your time's going where your money's going and your significant other or whoever you got in your life will not be happy because it is a very uh time consuming job if you allow it to be thank you guys for liking and subscribing i really appreciate it today is a complete beginner guide we're keeping it basic and giving the people what they need i see a lot of new shoppers in the community so this is just to kind of alleviate any of the stress to new shoppers you guys will have a uh chance to get more batches by doing the things on this list activate your card obviously alcohol delivery they ask you a few questions they make sure you're of age and that allows you to get batches that people are ordering from wine stores and wherever else costco sam's club places where you know people buy alcohol in majority uh other than that there's prescription. You can do a quick little quiz. or I, I honestly forget it. I'll have to take another look at what it is they require of you, but it's not that difficult. Once you get that done, you'll be open to doing a lot more batches. So thank you for being a part of the community, liking, subscribing, commenting, telling me you like what I do, telling me you don't like what I do. I appreciate it. I'm learning. I'm trying to understand this whole editing youtube platform growing social media thing i uh really love like spending time with you guys and just doing what i do here lately i used to work nine to five i used to do retail i did some fast food i did some sales i've done a little bit of everything warehouse work forklift jobs um construction i've been like everywhere and this is honestly my favorite job i've ever had and it is a job i know a lot of people say we're working for ourselves which you are especially when you start incorporating things like postmates and doing different gigs and doordash and different deliveries while doing an instacart batch and everything is adding up it does make a difference so diversify as much as you can um but it is a job at the end of the day that's why i um I try to support you guys as much as I can. I like and I get to know the community and I network as much as possible so we can all grow and become the entrepreneurs we deserve to be. Now, let's keep it going. Sorry, I went on a bit of a tangent, uh, but I show love to my subscribers and the people in my community. You should come be a part of it. Let's see. Here we are showing the available batches right now in my area. Uh, so we're going to take it to an end here. I think I've pretty well explained everything in this complete beginner guide for the Instacart Shopper app for 2021. For Instacart shoppers and anyone who's getting over, flipping over to the Instacart, shy, Instacart side, Instacart shoppers, ship shoppers, DoorDash shoppers. It's a, uh, a pretty well laid out platform. I've grown accustomed to it. I've been doing this for a year in a couple months i really like it postmates i've had some good days with that doordash as well but so far instacart is my favorite gig app stay tuned for more man i'm about sick of this bro can't even enjoy my lunch no more 
You want some of these mangoes? No, I'm cool. Let me hear what's up with that Instacart stuff, though. Yo, it's like, I made so much money with Instacart and, like, on the side, whatever. I might as well just go ahead all in with this gig life type stuff. 